Don't make me say the Martha Graham quote. You know the Martha Graham quote. Lay it on me. Uh, Martha Graham said, there's never any satisfaction for an artist. There's only a divine dissatisfaction that keeps us more alive and driven than the others. This is a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Hey, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with the one and only Johnny Galecki. Johnny, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. So tell us what's next. Right now, uh, as far as like the hired gun actor boy stuff, I really want to kind of take a break and let Leonard roll run his course through my bloodstream. Uh, you know, I, I just... say that, but then you know, then something always comes up. I was like, just going to oh, say that would be a blood transfusion if I play this role. So <laughs> I'm not good at taking taking time off necessarily but i really i'm enjoying the i've started a production company a couple of years ago under the warner brothers umbrella and um have been loving doing that i've had the op i've wanted to for many years i think i made the mistake that a lot of actors make um which was i assumed that the process started on my start date <laughs> or the first day of rehearsal and ended with the rap party and that's probably about 15 percent of the process of putting anything on air or on stage or on record or, and so I wanted to be more a part of the storytelling. I wanted to be in the room when that seminal idea is hatched and part of a collaboration, a small skeletal collaboration that grows into a bigger one and helps nurture and cultivate these ideas and have that kind of shared pride in in these projects um and i i always i had a lot of opportunities to take vanity credits just to have my name on something to make a project more appealing and i always i never wanted to take up space you know in a credits role or a playbill or you know a billboard that i i hadn't earned i knew you could I, when the time came, I knew I, I, I wanted to be legit, and I knew that that was the wrong way to start. And so I did a pilot for Warner Brothers and Fox the first a few years ago, and just found that I, I enjoyed it. I love working with writers. I, I have a lot of writer friends. I've heard the horror stories about how they've been thrown under the bus, whether it's by a studio or a network or a director or an actor. Or, and so kind of that was really is the foundation of the production company is to kind of to be dramaturgs and bodyguards to, to writers. Uh, we're very we're a very writer and story based company and uh, just love it. And I get to diversify my storytelling, you know. It's it's a wonderful luxury to be only be able to only have the responsibility to focus on one character, but Talent. I can in producing. I can be working on. You know, we have like five TV shows and a movie and a play right now. It's like to be able to jump around into those different pools is is really satisfying. Really, really exciting. Super cool. I can ask you another question, sure. which is, with all the platforms out there, the OTT platforms, the Netflix and the Hulu and the YouTube and whatnot. Uh, what's your, you know, as a kind of a career actor, mm. um, who's been mainly mainstream TV and movies. How do you feel about some of these other platforms? Well, it's only been mainstream because I'm old as dirt, right? That's all. <laughs> when I started, we only had four networks. But, but I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm just curious, your perspective. Like, um, could you ever see yourself doing a full-length TV show or movie and putting it someplace like YouTube? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I don't I really care what the format is. If it's something that... that I think it's all really exciting. I mean, look at all the, the space we have for new voices. It's terribly exciting. And, you know, as we were talking about earlier off camera, I mean, kids can put a, cut a movie on their phone now, yeah. you know, and put it out without permission. I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the interesting things about acting as well. It's, I don't know, a, you know there's few other, I mean, you play an instrument, you can go out on the, on the corner and play for people walking by. If you you know, if you're a writer, you can sit down with pen and paper and express yourself. You know, as an actor, you're reciting Shakespeare in front of your living room couch isn't very satisfying. You need permission to to express yourself through through your art. Uh, I don't know, maybe I, 
architecture comes to mind, but I don't know in a lot of other vocations where that's the case. So the more room we have to tell more stories, the, the better, the more technology we have so that we don't need to rely on that permission. Um, I, I'm, I'm a massive cheerleader for. I think it's a really exciting time, but a, a time where I think responsibility is important to remember as well. People and get caught up in the can we as, and, and forget the should we. So you're saying like just because you can doesn't mean you should? Is that is that the message? I think it should be everything should be approached with some consideration too. We get overzealous sometimes. I mean, my mother has her degree in radio and television communications. She talks about out of Michigan, and she talks often about during that time how exciting it was to be a part of something that they thought was going to make the world a smaller and friendlier place, and it, not necessarily, it didn't necessarily do that. It kind of made the world a bigger and scarier place. I see the same thing happening with the internet. I mean, you and I were around, like, when chat rooms were cool, I, like, wow, I'm, like, typing with somebody in Djibouti, and that's fascinating. Like, mm -hmm. I, create, I just wanted to say Djibouti. Uh, <laughs> pitch in Djibouti. Um, but, you know, and now it's become, it's a, it, it's a scarier thing. It's a scarier way of communicating. Uh, because when you don't have that, it's... It loses its intimacy and its personal uh, connection after a, a certain point. You see it, like you see it in bullying and online bullying. You see, it, I mean, there's some there's some dangers there, but it can be also it can also be used in really wonderful ways that that bond us together as well. Yeah, and I think you make a good point. So it's never probably been easier to cre create content and, and publish it, self-publish it. Right. At the same time, because there's so much of it, mm -hmm. now to sort of break through the noise or the sea of content, you've, you've actually kind of got to level up your game. You've got to be special. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Even I mean, more special than before. Sure, yeah. I mean, if, there's, if there was only four restaurants in town, as there was with four networks not too long ago. Yeah. Now, if there's 800 restaurants in town, you better up your game. Yeah. You know, and but, you know, the hope <laughs> you point at this guy specifically. I know. I'm, oh I'm, no, the I camera. Mean, it's like an indictment to us. I'm sort of pointing at myself as I look in the lens. <laughs> like, it's true. You know. Sure. Um, no, but you know, and then you have to trust the audience to 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 choose what what's the cream that rises to the to the top. Yeah. Well, that's what excites me because we are then. Bring it full circle back to control. Yeah, we are the captain of our own ship, the masters of our destiny. You mean you as an audience member, or no, you as, as a consumer, or as a content creator? As a content creator, yes. We've got the ability to, you know, it, it's not about creating average stuff for average people. Right. It's about creating something special. But it's up to the audience if you and I survive. Yes. Right. Yeah. And that 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 keeps us. Uh, you know, hopefully always on our toes. And yeah, a little fire underneath here. Absolutely. Yeah.